You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, let's talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers and most notably the situation involving their quarterbacks. And I'm talking about Russell Wilson, of course, who's got a calf injury. And part of what we're going to talk about today is we got a former Super Bowl champ. Granted, he's a big Denver Broncos guy. He is. That is uh, questioning some of the, um, I guess, the uh, quickness or the lack of urgency in bringing back Russell Wilson. In other words, if Justin Fields keeps playing like he's playing, maybe he doesn't come back. Or if Justin Fields was playing badly, Russell Wilson would already be starting. But that's not where we're going to start. We've got multiple Super Bowl champions, actually. Three of them. And they all seem to be sort of advocating for Justin Fields. Now, Ben Roethlisberger, of course, is a Pittsburgh legend, had said that you got to put Russell Wilson back in when he's healthy and ready to go. Now, look, Justin Fields has not been some kind of world beater here, but he's been solid, and he's taking care of the ball. That's about the most important part of this equation. This is PFF's QB grades through two weeks, and uh, my goodness, Kyler Murray, Derek Carr, what the hell's going on? You want to talk about a strange-looking top five? Kyler Murray, Derek Carr, Geno Smith, Sam Darnold, Josh Allen. I have a sneaking suspicion that some of these guys are going to end up down in this 11 to 20 range, and the usual suspects will move back up in the list. Um, but Justin Fields is, is number eight in the league right now as far as graded out quarterbacks on there. And Roethlisberger had previously said, look, you put Russell Wilson back in if he's healthy. Well, he is officially uh, changing his tune now. All right, this is what he said, quote, Ben Roethlisberger was originally on the side of giving the ball to Wilson, but now he thinks Pittsburgh should ride Fields after a 2-0 start. I think you ride, ride with him until he has some kind of disastrous performance. And even at that, how do you know? Because every quarterback has one or two bad games a year. Even, I mean, the elite quarterbacks can have, you know, one, two, three, four bad games a year. Uh, so I don't know. Quote, he's not turning the ball over. They're 2-0. The big test this week with the Chargers coming to town. It's a huge test. He said on Footballing with the Ben Roethlisberger podcast, to me, if Russ is healthy, I'm sticking with Justin. I said last week I wouldn't, but what I saw today, I think he's earned and deserves the right to stay there. So he's saying, in his opinion, Justin Fields is just flat earned the right to uh, keep the job right now. You're playing, you're winning, and it's, you know, how much were you going to get out of Russell Wilson and you got the age factor? I understand. I would ride him, too, for a while and just to see what happens. Now, Chris Long, who, of course, is a two-time Super Bowl champ, he came out and he believes that not only should the Steelers ride Justin Fields, and I tend to agree with this, but they need to cut him loose a little bit, right? Yeah, he's taking care of the ball, but they need to loosen up the reins. He had some big games at the end of his uh, Bears run. Quote, I just want to say this about the Steelers. He said on the Greenlight podcast, I told you earlier there were two teams who if they figured out the quarterback thing, they're going to be scary. The Steelers are one of them. Well, you got a Super Bowl winning coach. Check. And you got what looks like could be a very, very good defense in Pittsburgh. Oh, well, that's that's two major boxes to check if you're looking for a late postseason run. When it starts getting cold, well, that good defense is going to travel, right? But, I mean, look, the, the Chiefs, one could argue, won their Super Bowl last year on defense, not offense. But I figure it out, I mean, if they ever loosen the reins a little bit, we're going to call you some more shots, let you run the offense. He's wanting to see him get cut loose and run this thing. 
When Mike Tomlin, while Mike Tomlin has a decision to make at quarterback once Wilson gets healthy, the long uh, long thinks the answer is clear. This team is built for Justin Fields, not built for Russell Wilson. Yikes. As bad as I feel for Russell not getting a chance to throw the ball Sunday in that revenge game, Justin Fields is perfect for this offense right now. Okay, well, you know, that brings, and this is sort of an impromptu bring up in all this, but, um, you know, Miami could use a quarterback right now, and I talked about Mac Jones the other day a little bit, but Russell Wilson, uh, with those weapons down there, It'd be an interesting watch. It'd be interesting just to see. Now, if you look at the schedule, the, the Steelers are 2-0 and right now. I think this game this weekend's a toss-up, all right? I'm, I think Jim Harbaugh is arguably a top-three coach in the NFL in all of football, and they're going to run the ball well. But against that defense, we'll see. This is a toss-up game. But let's just say you're 2-1. and one. You play the Colts. You should win that. You should win that game. All right, you're three and one. Cowboys, well, they got to come to Pittsburgh. All right, three and two. Raiders toss up. Jets toss up. Giants win. Commanders should be a win, probably. Uh, I mean, there's a world where, you know, after one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine weeks, uh, after nine weeks, you could be looking at, you know, five and four, six and. Six and three, maybe. And uh, uh, you'd be set up for a potential playoff run at that point. So, Mark Schlereth, <laughs> and I, I'm a big fan of Stink, I'm not going to lie. And that was his nickname. Of course, an old offensive lineman that uh, won a hell of a lot of rings. And he knows a lot about football. He's not the biggest Russell Wilson guy. Let's put it that way. But he was he's on FS1's Breakfast Ball. I never even heard of that till yesterday morning. I happened to see it on TV. Uh, but he thinks that Russell Wilson is actually uh, might be actually healthier than we think, and the Steelers are sort of uh, hiding the situation, for lack of a better way of putting it, or at least uh, shading it. <laughs> in order to keep Justin Fields uh, in the game right now and at quarterback. Quote, it makes me think this is a convenient excuse because if Justin Fields was turning the ball over, I have a sneaking suspicion that Russell Wilson's calf would be better than it is right now. Yeah, that just tells you all you need to know. There would be more urgency to get Russell Wilson in there right now when you're not sure about a player or uh or a player is doing a fairly uh, doing the job fairly well. You're like, take your time. It's okay, Russ. <laughs> We're going to be okay. We don't need you right now. Now, if there was turnovers and you were losing games, I think there would be more urgency. And I'm not saying he's not hurt, but everybody's hurt. Everybody plays hurt. Everybody goes through that. So I just wonder now. Listen, let me say one thing. There's no urgency. So, in other words, if the Steelers were 0-2, and and let's say Justin Fields through two weeks have th has thrown two, uh, you know, four interceptions, and Russell Wilson might be starting this weekend. But, guys, I had called this for week nine, eight or nine of the season. Uh, I, was, I was way off. I mean, Justin Fields is your starting quarterback with the Pittsburgh Steelers right now. And who knows what's going to happen with Russell. Now, if I'm the Steelers, I hold on to Russell. I don't trade him to any other team, including the Dolphins that's in the AFC, but I don't trade him to any other team or get rid of him because at $1.2 million, you got a Super Bowl champion uh, backup quarterback. But keep him. You know, you keep him. And then who knows? If, if Justin Fields does get hurt, Maybe Russell, for six games, recaptures some of the old magic, some of the old Seattle Seahawks thing. Uh, not his last season in Seattle, but prior to that. Uh, then who knows what happens. But Steelers fans, Justin Fields is your starting quarterback now. Uh, that's all there is to it. 
You know, and the organization, the owner, hears things like Ben Roethlisberger coming out and saying, uh, Justin Fields, just got you just got to roll with him now. Uh, remember, I said it the other day, It's the goal this year for the Steelers is not make the playoffs. They do that. But it's to win a playoff game, which they have not done in a very long time. And the owner fired that shot prior to the season. Going to be interesting. This is, I still think this Steelers quarterback situation is one of the most interesting situations in the league. You know? And at what point does Russell Wilson demand to get released or traded maybe if he's if he's not injured or if he feels like he can play what happens then i don't know that's interesting tell me what you think peace i'm out till next time thanks for watching the show be sure to like comment and subscribe be sure to tune in next time on black and white sports